Let me show you how to create a drop-down list that changes based upon the value in a previous drop-down list, or in other words, a dependent drop-down list. Such a dependent drop-down list can be created in Google Sheets in just seven simple steps. We'll start by creating the main category drop-down list in the first three steps. One, first you need to prepare the table with the main categories and subcategories you wish to select from, like seen on screen. Two, Choose the cell where the drop-down list of the main categories will show up. Click Insert and Drop-down. 3. Then, in the menu on the right, click the Criteria field and select Drop-down from Range, and click the field below that and select the cells that contain your main categories. Finally, click Done. Now you need to create this Data Prep column, which will display the subcategories based upon what is chosen as the main category. Also, if you have found this useful so far, please like the video to help others who need this info. 4. Write equals index and select the entire area of subcategories. 5. Add two commas to get which column to select and write match and specify the main category drop-down menu we created earlier as the search value. Then write another comma and select the range of main categories, followed by one more comma and a zero to ensure that only exact matches count. 6. Now the data prep column displays the subcategories of whatever is selected in the main category drop-down menu, like so. Now for the seventh and final step, we can create the secondary dependent drop-down menu in the same way as we did the first, but this time, when choosing the cell range that will be displayed by this drop-down menu, we choose the cells in the data prep column. Now you have a functional dependent drop-down list, but if you want to create multiple dependent drop-down lists and not just one, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching.